stopped talking when I was six years old. I didn't want anything more to do with the outside world. I was happy being quiet. But of course, they wouldn't leave me alone. My parents tried every trick in the book. From speech therapists to child psychologists. They even tried bribery. I could have anything, as long as I said it out loud. This episode didn't last forever. I'd made my point and it was time to move on. To peel away the next layer of deceit and see what new surprises lay in store. My school reports that I showed no interest, a disruptive influence. I felt sorry for them in a way. And when they finally expelled me, it didn't mean a thing. Life is unfair. Kill yourself or get over it. Life is unfair. Kill yourself. Then the psychiatrist was saying, Julie, Julie, can you hear me? Can you open your eyes? Can you stick out your tongue? And all of a sudden, Julie struck out. The November day I came home, the Christmas decorations were already up. Spray on snow, coloured flashing lights, and an artificial tree that played silent night over and over again. My parents welcomed me with loving arms that within an hour were back at each other's throats. Normal happy childhood back on course, batteries not included. Life is unfair. Kill yourself or get over it. Life is unfair Kill yourself or get over it